I'm back on the OMAD train. Yes, I am because OMAD is the most effective diet for me. It has been the most effective diet on my weight loss journey. Because of OMAD, I was able to get down to my lowest weight of 169 pounds and make this transformation. I like OMAD because of the fasting schedule. You are fasting throughout the day, however you're going to eat. You know by the end of the day, you're going to eat. So that motivates me to get through the fast and to compound those 20 hours, 21, 22 hours of fasting. Over time, you seek the benefits, especially when you're using OMAD to switch in and out of being a fat burner to a sugar burner. So in today's video, I am going to discuss shredding fat with one meal a day, my pro tips. So yes, your girl's back on the OMAD train. Um, I'm just sick and tired of everything else. I'm just going to go back to OMAD. I like how it works. It keeps me at bay. It keeps everything in check. So what are my fat burning tips with OMAD? I'm going to talk about when to eat, how to eat, preparing to eat, and preparing during the fast. So I'm going to go over it all. So let's dive into number one, how to eat an OMAD meal for maximum fat shredding. You want to eat one plate or you want to eat within a 15 to half an hour eating window. So that means you're eating a meal that is of that size. Half an hour eating window. Don't try to stuff too much this is something that you want to do if you are struggling and there's like resistance or you're just jumping into an OMAD after eating normally throughout the day. That's me right now. I'm jumping into an OMAD. You want to do one plate a day. Now, you don't have to do it daily. I think the best schedule for OMAD is actually eating within a two-hour eating window. I think that teaches you how to eat properly and it teaches you how to portion control. So there's that. Now, preparing before you eat. Before you eat your OMAD meal, you're going to be fasting throughout the day. I find it best to do OMAD. So this is when to eat your OMAD is to eat your OMAD in the evening because again, if you struggle with binge eating or controlling your nutrition, it kind of has a self check kind of, it like self regulates itself because when you eat two to three hours before going to bed, you are going to be so full that you're not going to want to eat in the middle of the night or have that late night cereal or those late night snacks. That's why I love OMAD for that. So it's best to do evening OMAD if you struggle. If you can do OMAD in the morning, it's a win. If you can do OMAD in the afternoon, it's a win. It's whatever you can adapt to your schedule. There's no benefit of eating at night. In fact, it actually is more beneficial to eat OMAD in the morning, but I don't know how many people can do that. Some people can to eat your OMAD in the morning because if you eat it in the morning, then you're burning off those calories throughout the day. You're going to bed and bada bing, bada boom. I've never tried morning OMAD. I don't think I can do it. The reason why I use OMAD is to control my binge eating. Now, I haven't been struggling with binge eating. I had just been struggling right now with resistant weight loss and I don't know what to do and I don't want to keep doing 36 hour fast. So I'm jumping back into OMAD right now. Maybe I should trust the process, but I had so much success with OMAD. And now that I gave myself a good like three to four month break from it, I would say not even maybe like a six month break from doing OMAD consistently. Maybe my body is not acclimatized to it because what happens with any method, if you do one method of fasting over and over and over again, what happens is that your body adapts. So you kind of want to vary your fast. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't really been doing OMAD. So now I'm going to jump back into it to see how my body responds. How to exercise with one meal a day. Okay, pro tip, pro tip number one. With OMAD. You want to get in lots of steps. I'm personally aiming to get in 14,000 steps a day. You want to do steps. Why? Because walking is the easiest exercise you can do that you can recover from. And it is a fat burning exercise. Walking puts you in a state of fatty acid oxidation, which is a state where you are burning fat for fuel. Now, if you're doing high intensity workouts, you're going to be using the anaerobic system, which allows you not to burn fat for fuel. So mm -hmm. What I love about OMAD and combining it with walking, you have the diet that is just a fat burning diet and you combine it with walking, you've got two things going on for you. You got the fat burning with the exercise and the fat burning with the diet. So 
you want to ensure you're getting in 14,000 steps a day. That's what I'm doing or more steps than what you're getting. Maybe aim for 10,000 and then work your way up. So 14,000 steps a day is key because again, it's going to help you with any resistance weight loss and it's help you shred. When I was losing weight with OMAD, I was walking easily 14, 15, 16, sometimes 20,000 steps per day while exercising. You can continue exercising as well. Now, when to exercise on one meal a day? I personally like to do it in the morning because that's how I, that's the best time for me to exercise. I started exercising at 6 a.m. in the morning when I used to do beach body workouts back in the day. You can check that out in my channel when I started off at like in the 220 pound range. You can check that out. I've been documenting my journey for a while. But the best time to exercise, I think, for anyone who's struggling with hunger is two to three hours before breaking your fast. So if you want to get in a workout in the morning, that's fine. Maybe you get in your walk two to three hours before breaking your fast, which is what I'm going to do now. Today, I'm on a rest day. I'm pretty sore from the gym. So let's say I worked out in the morning. I go to the gym. Then I'm pretty, I'm not hungry after working out, so it's fine. If I get hungry in the afternoon, I use my hunger hacking tool. So what is that? Apple cider vinegar, lemon water, squeeze lemon water, cayenne pepper, cinnamon tea, yerbe mate tea, any teas. I love herbal teas. Helps keep me full sparkling water helps to keep the hunger at bay. And there's that. I totally forgot to mention electrolytes. Now this video is kind of like, I'm just throwing tips at you. So get a pen, write it down, pause, rewind if you need to. First thing in the morning, you want to have your electrolytes because that's key. I'm telling you that's key with dropping your hunger with one meal a day. This morning, I had my element. I had my plain element, no stevia. So that's another thing. You want to do a clean OMAD fast. So this is like fat shredding protocol 101 with OMAD. You want to do a clean fast. Clean fast means just electrolytes. I would just remove coffee. There are teas you can have. There are like mushroom teas. There's yerbe mate tea that will give you the energy that coffee will give you. Do some research or I'll do a video on it and I'll do the research for you. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. I am going to do a video on that because coffee does ruin your gut health. I don't like coffee how it makes me feel. I feel like it causes bad breath. So I don't want to do coffee, but tea is pretty good. And I know there's teas that you can use that will give you more energy than anything. And I know there's like mushroom teas, adaptogen mushroom teas out there that can help. So tea is key, but these are like tips to help you replace coffee. But yeah, I do believe coffee definitely ruins gut health. Another major tip I want to give you with fat burning with OMAD, you don't want to focus so much on calories. You want to focus on macros. Calories, okay, it might matter if you have a lot of weight to lose, but macros are key because the macros will help keep you full. What do I mean by focusing on macros? Making sure you're getting in that fat, making sure you're getting in that protein. If you are doing a non-keto OMAD, make sure you're getting whole foods, whole carbohydrates. Right now I'm obsessed with sweet potato. So, and I, I'm also thinking about pumpkin. I haven't found any pumpkin. I need to find the Caribbean pumpkin because that's like the best pumpkin. If I can get my hands on pumpkin, that would be it. But you want to be able to eat whole foods. You don't want to be eating foods that are processed because it's just going to negate everything you just did with the fast. Plus, it's going to make you hungrier and it's make it harder for you to stick to this routine. So the key to this fat shredding protocol with one meal a day is to eat whole foods foods. Get rid of the coffee. That's how I did it. I'm telling you, if you're dealing with really stubborn fat, just get rid of it all and make it happen for yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit all over the place. I was just throwing facts at you. But if you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of star emojis. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.